one side yeah. time, the week off come at a good time for you? Yeah, look, I think absolutely you know, everyone this time of year appreciates a bit of a spell. There's a few um, sore bodies um, this time of year, so yeah, look, I know all the players have enjoyed having a week away and um, time to freshen up for the last six weeks of the season. And reassess new goals and new direction? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we had a bit of a mini, um, you know, mini goal the last block um, after the last bye we had, so um, we do the same again and hopefully finish the season in a really strong note. Well, those, yeah, those goals naturally. You win as many games as you can and uh, avoid the uh, focus on that. Yeah, almost. Yeah, absolutely. Almost. We'll break the season down into a, in a mini season. Um, that's a good thing about being able to have a couple of buys throughout the year, and and that's what we did. Um, you know, uh, the last block we, you know, we won three out of the seven. So we we, um, you know, we didn't do all that well, but we managed to win the, the three games, which was a positive. And the last two games that we played, we, look, we didn't get the result, but we've been able to um, defensively stop the, issue, the opposition from scoring. Um, you know, a large amount of goals, which is which was a pleasing, a positive, and um, you know they were close games, but we didn't quite get over the line. But um, to draw a positive from those last two games was at least defensively we were able to um, stop the, the, those teams from kicking, you know, large uh, amounts of goals in each game. Is there a bigger game all year than like, uh, the Derby game one Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, I was. It's obviously a very big game for the club, and it's one that. Um, the guys look to um, throughout the year to put in a good performance. Last time we played them, we were badly beaten them. Gold Coast were in fantastic form and, uh, and played very well against us. So, you know, it's a big challenge for us this time around. One of the guys, um, as I said, I know we're looking forward to and, um, you know, they, they obviously remember that last game we played, they were badly beaten, so they like to turn the, the fortunes around this time. And as Gold Coast, as Gold Coast's sort of reputation has risen, have you noticed the intensity of this game or the rivalry building? Between these two yeah, look, I'm on the back of um, you know the last game, badly, you know, we were badly beaten. As I said, the guys are really keen to try and turn that around. So, um, you know, they've, they've obviously matured and they're developing into a very good side. And um, you know, it's a really good challenge for us. We'll probably, you know, no, no doubt, going as the underdogs, and be a good challenge for our, our group to um, you know, step up to the plate and put a really good performance and hopefully get over the line. They've had one game without Gary. What are you expecting from them, or what do you expect them to learn from that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're as I said, they're starting to mature and develop as a team. And there's guys, individuals in that within their team that have really taken a step this year. And um, you know, there's going to be a time in the future where there, you know, times we're not going to have Gary out there, and they're going to, you know, continue to keep developing. They're going to just talk whether they can win without Gary. Look, they're clearly going to be able to win without Gary. Gary, they've got some fantastic players in that team, and they're they're maturing all the time. So. Um, you know, we, we know what a powerhouse they're going to be, and it's a really good challenge for our group to try and um, try and beat them on our home deck. Uh, the significance of having Tommy Rockliffe back, can you tell us what he obviously brings a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Tommy's you know, probably been our best player for the year, and um, brings a certain degree of leadership for our group, and um, you know, he's a great inclusion for our for our team. So he's going to be really important for us on on Saturday. Mate, just back to a bit, bit more on the Q clash and that rivalry that you sort of mentioned earlier. Obviously, like in the, the early days, you probably threw the first grenade before the, the first match. Um, do you think like we don't have to sort of fabricate that rivalry anymore? Do you think it's got enough intensity there on its own over the last sort of you know five or six or seven games? Now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I think we won um, maybe five five of those games straight, and but we now know what a you know, um, you know good side the Gold Coast of. Um, developed and maturing into, so um, you know, tables are turned a little bit. We, we got badly beaten last time we played them, and it's going to be a you know a real a big challenge um, for for us this weekend to you know to get out of the line and get the win because you know, as I said, what a what a really good side they've, they're developing into. They look like they're the real deal. They're pressing for their first finals. I mean, is it, is it a big surprise that they're doing so well after like, four years in the system? Yeah, um, for mine, absolutely not. I mean, we, we know from the outset what the um, the quality of, of draft picks and talent that they were able to get into their squad, and um, you know, it's a matter of time for them to to flourish and to um, become a really good side. And um, whether they will continue that on and, and, and do that this year or, or the years to come, it's it's just a matter of time. They got some wonderfully talented individuals in their in their group and a, and a large number of those. So um, you know, they. Uh, they're going to be a very good side for a long time. It's hard not to be uh, enamoured of what they've, what they've got, but uh, you've got, got a few of those players together. Yeah, there's uh, a bit of a stockpile too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're blessed with a, a large stockpile of enormous talent, aren't they? So, um, you know, we'd, we'd certainly love uh, some of their players, but um, it is what it is. And, and we're, like I said, we're just really looking forward to the challenge of being able to you know, match it with them and, um, and see how we stack up against them.